Hey, what's up guys? Anil from Motion Max. Here I am back with another tutorial. Actually, it's not a tutorial, it's a quick tip. I have been working in After Effects for several years. So I did this um, dumb thing uh, for years. So I want to share you my experience uh, with you in this tutorial. I hope it will give you some idea to cost up your work. Let's see what is that. So in a situation right now, I'm here. Uh, I have a background layer and a um, coffee cup uh, icon here which is in a composition okay so uh, I want to make an array of it uh, this um, coffee cup so I'm gonna make an arrow using CC wrapper tile so I'm gonna select this CC wrapper tile if I expand the edges using values so you can see it didn't doing anything because this effect is applied to this coffee comp composition which is 1920 to 1080 but the coffee cup is around 200 to 300 pixels uh, heightened width so but uh, how can, how we can do this if you if we scale down this comp you can see an array of uh, this um, uh, coffee cup icon starting from the end of this composition size uh, uh, composition size so in this situation we know we we what we do is we gonna i'm gonna undo it i'm gonna we are gonna go to that composition within composition and we will adjust the composition size to the required uh, by watching this like this and right so of course lots of users do the same thing even i did this uh, thing for several years this dumb thing for several years so there is a uh, thing we can do about this uh, so i'm going to show you now i'm going to cancel it so the composition stays still stays in uh, 1920 into 1080 full hd size so here you can see there is a reason of uh, interest button have you noticed this button before so maybe yes maybe I did, I did notice this because lots of times I clicked on it accidentally and make a rectangle like this what it will do is it will only show whatever it within the region of interest uh, this box clearly but uh, but not the all the section of this uh, some for the few if you want to see only several uh, reason I mean if you have I want to see only coffee cup animating like that so I only crop this region of it using region of interest um, and uh, I will only see this whatever uh, inside the box but not outside the box it will show you a black layer so by using this we can crop this um, like uh, we did in Photoshop using a crop tool so I'm gonna select the, my required size and I'm gonna go to composition and uh, select crop com to reason of interest right now the size has been shrink to the up to our required uh, coffee cup icon size so when I'm going to back tutorial scene so I can see area of this uh, coffee cup icon if I scale down we can see more of this okay so this is one situation I am uh, this will be useful this, and there is a, another situation like uh, for example uh, here so I want to make this crop this text uh, sorry crop this text text to the in a spherical size that covers this uh, uh, rec circle so what I'm going to do is I'm select to crop this. There's a way we can do this using only the start bezier wipe or using some other effect. What it will be do is uh, for the text layers, it will it will only select this uh, um, bezier wipe uh, for the all the 1920 to 1080 size 
so what i am what we need to do is we we only apply it to the crop this test outside only so in this situation we know it to do only one thing so going to the crop this pre-composing the crop this um, by the way you can select the crop this and shift control c by selecting shift control c you can create it otherwise you can select and go to layer pre-compose so i'm gonna pre-compose and move all the data to the same composition so i will go to the this crop this com so i'm gonna select the region of interest i'm gonna drop this up to my required size and go to yes okay so right now i'm gonna apply a bezier work and i'm gonna adjust the size Yes, I'm, uh, it's not perfect, but I am uh, I'm doing it for the only tutorial purpose. So lots of users may get this kind of situation. Uh, so this is useful. Uh, so I want to share it with you. I hope this tutorial will help you for your future work accomplishments. High five. I will be back with a, another quick tip tutorial or another tutorial.